Want more of our 2023 Car of the Year? Genesis will give you more. Literally. The Genesis G90 long wheelbase does exactly what it says on the tin, offering a 7.5-inch wheelbase stretch entirely devoted to cosseting rear seat passengers. Leg room? It's more like lounge room in the rear cabin of the G90 long wheelbase. The G90 long wheelbase is to the regular G90 what the Mercedes-Maybach S580 is to a run-of-the-mill Mercedes-Benz S580. And not just in terms of its concept, the G90 long wheelbase is almost identical to the Maybach dimensionally, just a tenth of an inch shorter overall and one inch shorter in the wheelbase, 0.4 inch wider, and 0.7 inch lower. Like the Maybach, it even has chrome on redesigned front and rear bumpers, a bright, anodized aluminum finish on the B-pillars, and gorgeous diamond-cut full disc wheels to differentiate it from its smaller sibling. Inside is upscale. Inside is an interior with lashings of quilted semi-aniline leather, soft suede, and acres of open pore wood trim punctuated by splashes of aluminum brightwork. It's equipped with everything from an augmented reality navigation system to a 23-speaker bang and a Lufsen 3D sound system to rear seat neck pillows. The standard Mood Curator offers four programs that tailor ambient lighting, sunroof and rear window screen positions, seat massage, audio settings, and what scent you want pumped through the air conditioning system. About the only options available on the G90 long wheelbase are a panoramic sunroof and a VIP rear seat package that comprises two individually adjustable heated and ventilated seats with massage function, complete with leg rests that provide a foot massage. Taking obvious aim at a brand originally resurrected by Mercedes-Benz in 2002 to tackle Rolls-Royce and Bentley is an audacious reach, even by the full-throttle standards of Korea's fast-moving luxury automaker. But then, as Genesis Vice President of Design Ilhan Yoon insists, whatever we do has to be done in an audacious way, otherwise we will not convince the customer. Relaxed in wafting drive. All the things that made the G90 our 2023 car of the year, the advancement in design, the engineering excellence, efficiency, safety, value, and, of course, how well it performs its intended function, are present in the G90 long wheelbase. Its powertrain, a 409 horsepower, 405 LBFT 3.5 liter turbocharged and electrically supercharged V6, its 8 speed automatic transmission, and its all wheel drive are the same as that of the standard wheelbase G90's 3.5 TESC trim. Three chamber air suspension and rear wheel steering come standard. Both are also standard for the 3.5 TESC. The G90 long wheelbase is a relaxed drive. Noise levels are extremely low, thanks to standard active noise cancellation and the double-glazed soundproof glass. But what's arguably more impressive is how well the vibration and harshness inherent in a V6 engine layout have been suppressed. The G90 long wheelbase wafts smoothly and silently through traffic on light throttle, and the automatic stop-start system is virtually imperceptible in its operation. The extra distance between the axles means the G90 long wheelbase's primary ride is even calmer than that of the regular G90. But like so many air-suspended luxury cars with relatively big, heavy wheels and low-profile tires, in this case 20-inch Michelin Primacy Tours, 245-45 at the front and 275-40 at the rear, sharp-edged road acne can occasionally induce some wheel patter, and the impacts can be felt through the seat squabs in the floor, most noticeably in the rear seat. As Features Editor Scott Evans noted in his 2021 test of the Maybach S580, the German car has its own ride quality issues with the suspension in anything other than the squishy Maybach mode, its default ride is like that of the decidedly and unapologetically more sporty Bentley Flying Spur. Although it might not have quite the high-speed handling chops of the Maybach, the G90 long wheelbase's baseline comfort mode ride is, in terms of its core mission, arguably better resolved than that of the S580. And with better wheel control over expansion joints, manhole covers, and the like, along with greater suppression of the resultant impacts felt through the rear floor and seat bottoms, the G90 long wheelbase could potentially even edge closer to Rolls-Royce ghost levels of overall ride refinement. The basics are there, they just need tuning. Going after the big boys. Genesis has yet to confirm whether the G90 long wheelbase is destined for the US 
but we'd be surprised if it didn't make the move. In Korea, the G90 long wheelbase sells for a 42% premium over a standard wheelbase sedan optioned with the same equipment as the US market, entry-level G90. That suggests a sticker of about $126,000 for the G90 long wheelbase should it come stateside. Is the idea of attempting to sell a $120,000 plus Korean luxury car to Americans simply too audacious, even for Genesis? That depends on your point of view. An American spec G90 long wheelbase would likely cost about $15,000 more than the entry level Mercedes Benz S Class, the six cylinder S500 Formatic, and almost $10,000 more than the V8 powered S580. But in terms of its size and mission, its real target is the Mercedes Maybach S580, a car with a starting price of $184,900. Yes, the Maybach has more power and more performance. But other than the occasional German Autobahn run, most long wheelbase luxury limos spend their lives oozing away from the traffic lights, mooching around cities at 30 to 40 miles per hour, and cruising on urban freeways at no more than 70 to 80 miles per hour. Smoothness, silence, and comfort are what's important in this segment, not next draining acceleration or insanely high speeds. In this context, the Genesis G90 long wheelbase looks a steal. Thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to like my video and subscribe to my channel.